Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with a six pound, 15 ounce jewelry jar. Um, I'm just showing it to you sideways so we can take a look at um, what might be inside of there, like these uh, Mardi Gras beads, maybe some more Mardi Gras beads or Christmas beads. There's a chunky necklace, some Thing looks like a palm tree maybe um, something a little more tribal oriented there was a very oh there it is whoops a very interesting looking keychain I'm not sure what it's uh, meant to do but it looks like it has some kind of interactive wheel in it some bangles lots of molded in place um, necklaces uh, quite a variety. Yeah, there's something looks like possibly an illusion necklace. Yeah, there's more evidence of it here. Let's see if we turn it this way. Mother of Pearl, maybe, or plastic. And uh, oh, it's a couple earrings, maybe, in the bottom that match. And here on the top, um, earrings, leaves sailboat something so oh something with a tag that says size whatever oh we'll see um there's an earring because i can it's pierced earring sticking through the plastic so i'll upright the uh, jar open it up and get right back to you well here we go with what uh, came out of the top of the jar i'm always interested in seeing what is stuck to the tape and here it here it is or here here they are all the things stuck to the tape so let's very carefully uh, detach things there's something that has a size small on it i guess there's a few little ringy things not ringy things i'm sorry rings there's that uh Oh, no, Viscosha! Interesting keychain. I kind of like keychains where you can sort of travel to places you haven't been or haven't been lately because of COVID and, uh, and reminisce. So this should be enough to get us started. There's a few things uh, with tags on them. Lots of different pieces coming out here. Right, Marcia from our vintage store says, a kid in the candy store. Every time you open a, a jewelry jar, you never know what you're going to get. So let me straighten out the cloth. And here we get started. So what's this? An earring. I'm going to put it to the side. Oh, a broken piece of glass. And I don't see that it came off my jar. So um, I'll just have to watch in case it belongs in the jar something in the jar oh this is sweet and I have a, a little bit of a collection of these is that the best it can focus I guess yes so it's an angel lapel pin uh, no marking on the back I love my camera uh, it's a nice little bit of enamel there so I will add that to my collection I don't have an enameled one here's an earring so put that to the side oh well won't put it to the side because look, here's a pair of pierced earrings. Bling, bling. I don't see any markings on the back, but they are in excellent shape. No missing rhinestones. Oh, those would be fun in, um, in, a, in an assemblage. You know those trees and flowers and things they make with jewelry? That's a great shape to add in there. Also a nice pair of earrings. So this is very interesting. This um, not earring. I'm, I have only one of them right now, but I'm focusing on it because I received a pair of sterling uh, silver not earrings when I graduated from university many, many years ago, a few decades, several, not several. Anyway, more than a few decades ago, and I lost one here in the house. Now, this came in the jewelry jar. I'm, um, I never did find mine, but maybe I'll be lucky enough that this will match my other one and I'll have a pair again. I don't see any markings to indicate that it's silver. Let's see if it sticks to my 
yeah it's not silver it's attracted to the magnet oh well but you know who knows maybe there'll be a pair in the jar so i found this pair of earrings that's a lovely knot design gold tone with sort of a blackish undertone pierced earrings not marked in any way but a pair there were in that tangle there was this pair of bright blue earrings in excellent shape good size hoop so let's see almost three inches maybe two and a half oh those I could say I'd say this color is beach wear or at least summer wear but that that looks that's a beachy color as far as I'm concerned and what else do we have here in terms of I paired up some more earrings this is this is a bonus at the beginning of the jar if the earrings come out in pairs so here's a nice pair of uh, faux pearl cabochons with uh, silver background textured backing I don't see that no no maker's information but a very wearable pair of pier earrings not very often that we get that many pairs of uh, sort of dressier pier earrings here's a nice pair look at that lovely yellow glass cabochon and the rhinestones all around the outside the rhinestones are all there again come on focus there we go not marked but another wearable pair of earrings uh, also good for uh i suppose if you're repurposing here's uh an interesting let's try it this way so we've got a heart how's this supposed to go heart squiggle of wire this looks like it's is it supposed to be colored let's try the other one yeah i guess they're supposed to be speckledy greeny maybe and then there's a squiggle of wire the heart has got oh that same sort of paint finish a filigree bead and a that's yeah, wooden a couple of wooden beads so I guess you'd call this boho and if this wasn't a style you would wear it's certainly something that could be taken apart and uh, reassembled I would probably want to see the heart in front of that bit of wire like that if I were wearing them but that doesn't seem to be let me try this once again well maybe that's the way they're meant to go this one doesn't anyway another pair so one two three four five six pair of earring already Six pairs of earrings and another one, seven. This is, get this close enough to focus. There we go. So some little colored rhinestones. Um, probably more of a, okay. Sorry about that. It has to be close enough to focus. So some sort of uh, perhaps yellowish, reddish on this dark antique metal. No marking on the back, but another very wearable pair of earrings. You could uh, wear that with all kinds of things. And the rhinestones are all there. Kind of reminds me of my um, Renaissance Fair costume. There's this little glass pendant. There we go. Look, at there's a little, like a little uh, Milifiori bit of cane in the top corner there. Just a simple glue on bail so that could be uh, added to a piece of jewelry to make a nice little focal there's this piece of glass it's a, a Hershey's kiss <laughs> in uh, black 
red and is that a light blue or a gray in there? My husband saw this and said, the Hershey's Kiss is moldy. And I said, no, it's glass. It's decorative. And I guess you could put it on a chain maybe or add a, a bale there. I mean, that's the bale. Ah, Maybe it's just supposed to sit on a desktop. I'm not sure. What else have we, did we find? Okay, another pair of earrings. These are interesting. Rose. Um, maybe on the back of my hand. I might see easier. A, a rose disc. Quite large. Again, two and a half to three. Yeah, two and a half inches. But there's the pair. And then we have some odd little bits and pieces. So I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Remember when you used to take these and you would but, uh, clip them on the back of your dress to, to, to pull it in at the waist? So uh, there's some good substantial little... There we go. Just bow pearls, but in excellent shape. There's a little string maybe missed. Uh, could be clipped there. And these yeah. look like they're in very good shape. Um, you had two of these and you could use them to, uh, on the end of your sleeves to clip your gloves so you don't lose them. I lost a glove this past week. One of my favorite leather gloves. It's always, and I traced my steps and didn't recover it. So I'm hoping that it turns up, um, turns up soon. Anyway, this is a lovely necklace. It's got a spring ring clasp, but it feels like wooden beads. Does it? They're not plastic. At least they don't, though they have a paint color on them like plastic, but they don't, they feel more like wood to me. I have no way of really testing that up. So, uh, I don't know if there's a way to tell. What they're made of. But a pretty little, pretty little thing. Where's my ruler? So about, about, about 18 inches. Great. Uh, I think I'll save this for my granddaughter. Because she'll love to see those little heart beads and so on. And I untangled uh, well I did but but maybe it not didn't last very long three illusion necklaces so let's focus back here here's the culprit this one was um, is this one was tangled inside of itself sort of like through itself and tangled with the others um, um, well loved, well well worn clasp. The copper showing through. These are uh, a a violet and uh, silver tone bead. They're quite nice. And then the black. They're plastic, but it's on this very fine wire, the kind that is the bane of illusion necklaces. It gives illusion necklaces a bad name. So this one will probably be taken apart. But then I found these, and these are really, there's not much illusion there, because they're really substantial wire. I have never seen jewelry wire of this weight. I, I buy this type of wire to use in making my jewelry, and I've never purchased anything that heavy, but it makes uh, an illusion necklace that doesn't, kink look at the great shape that is in um these are nice beads some faux pearls some uh glass yeah glass pearls glass um sort of semi-transparent very nice colors so it's a shame uh, it would be a shame to take that apart because it it's actually keeping its shape really well and you can't like the wire is so substantial. Um, so I'm not sure if these are manufactured, if someone made them themselves, because um, they're pretty straightforward to make. Um, 
but again very heavy wire and then there's this one and it's the same different design um, not quite as pretty in my estimation as the previous one because of but again the substantial wire the um, lovely pearls these are rather than the um, sort of red gray uh, white these are the clear um, a very deep purple or even Merlot you might call it and maybe black um, but very wearable nice shine to it whoops there we go nice shine and um, it as again it doesn't it's not all out of shape and broken and it it's again the very substantial wire so I'm not sure if I'm gonna take these apart um, if I do I would save this wire and restring it with um, heavier stone beads because the, certainly the wire could take it and uh, it could be used for bracelets I wouldn't want to make too heavy of a necklace with it but yeah very attractive so here are these two of them very different designs but for the first time illusion necklaces that I can't really complain about um, here's another pair of earrings, kind of a yellow glass, well, definitely glass, but yellow with the white centers, kind of like honey. Friends, uh, church, which was closed for most of, uh, 2020 and most of 2021 because of COVID restrictions, decided to bring in bees, beehives, hire beehives, and then uh, let them, you know, be on their property, which they have just happened to be near um, the Royal Botanical Gardens here in Ontario to make honey all summer and into the next second year and lots of wax. And then they sold the honey and wax candles, beeswax candles, and to help support themselves. So what a creative idea. They were, of course, they were in an excellent location. And of course, I have to buy some honey. Um, but, uh, you know, we've all had to find creative ways to respond to the demands of COVID. And uh, one of them is probably collecting or Jewelry jars when available. So here's another um, set of earrings. Again, very wearable. All the parts are there. And uh, I'll put those aside for the future. I think this is yet another pair of earrings. I can't believe it. I know uh, some people get lots of single earrings in their jewelry jars. And it can be a disappointment if the earrings are special in any way or um, of a nice maker um, these are nice simply because they're good looking earrings so they've got good sparkly glass stones and none of the stones are missing and I could see repurposing these stones just a second yeah the stones are um, could be separated here and take them apart can I get the there we go so yeah they're they're linked together so they could probably be taken apart and used separately or put into something else very nice set of earrings um, fortunately I just don't have anywhere to wear them unless I you know wear them around the house but not these days Okay, so there were a few rings that came out at the top, and I kind of put them together so that, because this one is a spectacular ring. I guess it goes this way. It's a, a stretchy. It's very tight, but isn't that a spectacular ring? I guess if I could try to put it on, and we can get the full. Can, can, 
<laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to kind of say, hey, I'm watching you. It's a little tight on my finger, but that's a great, great ring. I love the idea. I love the design. I'm not sure if I would have the guts to wear it out in public, though. I'm just going to check. Those looked like black rhinestones rather than uh, marcasites, but still, this is a nice, uh, really nice eye focal in there. So a great ring. Not so often that you get such fun rings. Here's a ring, like a, what do you call this? So here's a ring, or a wrap ring, perhaps. I don't see any information on it. Let's see. Might, it's so light, it might be aluminum. How do you like my, my magnetic dart? My really nice magnet disappeared upstairs somewhere. So it's not attracted to the magnet, but I don't think it's uh, sterling. It certainly doesn't feel like the weight it would have to be if it was really actually silver. So I'm saying aluminum. That's not bad for a pinky ring. Actually, it's quite comfortable. It's a little too big, but... And then here's something labeled size small. Um, I guess this is a double ring. Like goes like that, maybe? Or am I missing the point? Ah, somebody tell me, please. Um, yeah, all the rhinestones are there. It's got a tag on it. I would have probably thought it was a scarf slide if it didn't have the size small on it. You know, and you stick your scarf through it, and your scarf... Oh, well. You know, some of us are, are old enough that we have these preconceived notions of jewelry. Uh, or we make things up, and we just don't know what we're talking about. This is a cute little adjustable ring. Uh, I have a granddaughter that we'll go to. She's hard on jewelry, though. She... <laughs> she... The cat... She made an anklet. And the had a little dangle uh, chain on it, and the cat saw it, grabbed it, and it got stuck in the cat's paws, and they had a tug of war, and they pulled the chain off, and now she can't find it. At least she has the rest of, the, the rest of it. This is kind of cool. I like the, I like the colors. It, it, it's only going to fit on that finger. It's, it's quite, it's not going to get anywhere else. But hey, that's pretty cool. Yellow, green. Clear, plastic, molded. Very nice. I'm not, I am like the colors. Nice and bright and sunny in these winter days. So that was, that was four rings. Five rings, sorry. Five rings. And uh, all those sets of uh, earrings that uh, came out of this uh, jewelry jar so far. Um, a few more pieces, and then we'll have to take a break for a part two, I think. So this is a brand new piece on the card. And I can tell just by the way it is labeled that this is a dollar store item. And no surprise, made in China. It's a stretchy bracelet with plastic um, sort of rhinestone encrusted beads and some plastic clear beads. So uh, I can pass that on. There's this big stretchy bracelet. And actually it's not overstretched. Um, and, uh, oh, it's sections. So these are, if it were, if you took it apart, you could use each of these different sections to, uh, create some kind of thing but actually it's pretty nice very wearable i think you might notice i'm wearing <laughs> two um what do you call them fitness bands this is a fitbit flex 2 that i got in a jewelry jar um and the only thing that was missing was the charge cord and there was a a free shipping event for a, a reputable store and I got the charger for a dollar and eight cents Canadian shipped directly to me <laughs> so the thing works perfectly 
Um, I've just been wearing it for a day and the band is irritating me, so I probably won't wear that long term. But it has lots of options of things you can track. Um, I haven't figured out how to get it to track sleep yet. This is something I picked up during a jewelry sale. This is called a Misfit Shine. Uh, Misfit's the company and uh, Fossil Group owns it. Um, it shows me the time. And it shows me my progress in terms of my activity level for the day. So there's the time, 20 after 10. And I'm uh, only halfway through my, my uh, excuse me, <coughs> only halfway through the amount of uh, walking or activity that I want to do for the day so far. It also tracks sleep. Um, and you can track all kinds of things. Um, I like this one better than the Fitbit because I know I can tell the time. And this one's very comfortable. I've been wearing it for a week now. And except for this, I was wearing the Fitbit here and it kind of made me red. Um, so uh, I think uh, this is going to win as the watch yeah, fitness tracker. And this is going to, I don't know, I'm going to try to buy a new band for it maybe. That, enough aside, let's uh, get back to the jewelry. So... Here is a watch that was in the top of the jar, and it's, can we, there it goes. You can see it's a Roots watch. It's not running right now, but most of the time you get a watch in a jewelry jar, it just needs a new battery. So I'll uh, attempt to do that. It could use a clean. It's a nice attractive bracelet, though, silver toe. Interesting. And... There was uh, a hair clip. Focus it back down. It's got a nice design, a nice chain design on the top. It looks like in great shape. No hair sticking out of it, so that's a bonus. There is this bracelet. Oh, it's a toggle. Okay, I was trying to figure out how this actually worked. I mean, I could see that this was the center. Um, this is... Well, doesn't feel like real leather. Let me check. No, it's not real leather. It's just imitation leather. But it's in excellent shape. And it's got a nice toggle clasp. So on the right person, this would be a very nice bracelet. And do we have anything else? Oh, I can... This, this necklace. This is uh, also something that was... Um, I had to de detangle, and of course now I'm holding it the wrong way. Oh, okay. So here there's a lobster claw clasp. It's um, a single chain, silver chain here, to these two stations that are identical, except the beads are slightly different color. And then it goes from here to two chains. Um, it's hard to show this, but... Um, so the center chain is the shorter, and it has all these little things dangling from it, uh, a locket, a heart, uh, a plastic bead on a chain, just a couple more plastic beads on chains. And then the second has just this metal sort of hammered and painted heart. Uh, the problem, I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm going to undo the lobster claw clasp because I think it'll be easier to show you the issue with this. So when you get it hanging, there we go. You can kind of see the center part is uneven. You have, take my word for it. I've got these two kind of at the same height and it, it, it's not balanced. So I don't know if it came apart and somebody reassembled these center pieces differently or if there's a piece missing this side is definitely too lightweight for the other parts that are hanging on there and so I would take that apart and re um, hang everything so that it was weight balanced so that when you wore it it didn't all hang to one side and look like you were lopsided even if you really are lopsided so there you can see how they all just hang to the side and I'm not you know I'm not uh, accentuating the problem. It's it's a real problem. 
but it's you know it's uh, it's kind of one of those everyday lightweight very inexpensive pieces of jewelry so um could be why they got rid of it that it just didn't hang right well some really interesting pieces so far from this jar and i think that uh this ring is pretty stellar um you know lots of bling and lots of pairs of earrings this is my favorite piece and it was just happened to be one of the first pieces that came out of the jar and i uh i like a lot of these earrings they're very attractive i'm not sure if i would how many i would wear but i think i'll end up doing something with uh quite a few of them with the pairs so i hope you've enjoyed this uh adventure into the jewelry jar it was six pounds 15 ounces so we'll have to see uh, how much the jar weighs when we're done we might end up with five pounds of jewelry i'm going to estimate because the last time i had a jar of that shape the jar weighed a, what a pound 13 so yeah who knows it's all great fun uh bye for now take care and we'll see you soon.